Governor Kay Ivey extended Alabama's safer at home order yesterday and gave some clarification and a slight relaxation on visitor policies at hospitals. But with COVID numbers on the rise, most hospitals are not changing their visiting policies. WKRG News 5's Gabby Easterwood spoke with health officials today about their reasoning. We spoke with Spring Hill Medical Center today and they tell us that the risk is too high to change their visitor policy. And if we don't start changing our behavior soon, hospitals could see a big impact. We have seen uh, an uptick. The, the, the spike is real. Coronavirus case numbers on the rise in Mobile County and an extended safer at home order for our state. But what does this mean for the state of our local hospitals? President and CEO of Spring Hill Medical Center, Jeffrey St. Clair, spoke with us today and wants to remind everyone that this pandemic is still very real. Certainly a problem in March and April, and there's no reason to think it can't be a problem again. If hospitalizations keep going up at the rate they're going up, it's here and uh, uh, it's not going to let up for quite some time. St. Clair says he is in constant contact with other hospital officials in the Mobile area and says a large concern is the asymptomatic spread with young people. There's a false sense of security because the younger people are not getting hospitalized. In Tuesday's city council meeting on a possible mask ordinance, health officials advocated for it to pass and voiced their concerns for hospitals dealing with the spike. We're getting high as far as our capacity. At the infirmary, we're 430 patients today, and I'm sure Sal, Spring Hill and Providence are probably at close to 80 90 percent of their capacity. So as for right now, policies at hospitals are not going to change and the concerns are also growing just as the case numbers are reporting in Mobile. I'm Gabby Easterwood at WKRG News 5.